Hello everyone, Lloyd from BISFO. What I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to set up your loyalty point calculation. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to um, aim to buy 10 and get uh, a voucher of 40 Rand uh, the moment I reach 10. And we're going to work with points. So you can accumulate your points, but we'll touch on that now. The first step would be select the items that you want to um, uh, make part of the loyalty. So I've just got coffee one, two, and three, and you'll notice at the bottom I've selected some codes for them. So this is code one, two, three. Second one is three, two, one, uh, four, five, six, and so on. This code must be unique. Uh, it can be alphanumeric, can be four digits, five digits, um, doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's something that makes sense to you, um, and it's definitely unique uh, for the points calculation. All right, good. So let's hop over to the Hive and I'll show you how to set this up and how to uh, also set the points calculation factor. Okay, on the Hive, uh, maybe as a start, let's start with what we're aiming for. What we're aiming for is to say that we are going to accumulate 10 points. We're going to give each item code a weighting uh, of a point. So in essence, uh, we're going to give one point, so 10 items um, at that point will accumulate a voucher of 40 for us, uh, or 40 Rand, which your client can then redeem. Um, and essentially, it would be like a buy one, get one free. It's just slightly easier to manage and incentivize them uh, on a currency value, because uh, they can take anything uh, that they like for the 40 Rand, or accumulate it even more and build it up. Okay, this is also important setting. Loyalty must be active for this voucher. So just recap, I've got 10 points. Each 10 points in my system will um, equate to 40 Rand. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to hop on over to loyalty. Oh, before we get to loyalty, let's set up our codes. So I'm going to go to inventory. I'm going to go to loyalty codes at the top. And what I'm going to do here, your refresh button, I've got no loyalty codes set up. But let's just do 321, uh, and you'll notice it says factor equals 1. Now, I can put in 0 0.5 if I like. In other words, this specific item uh, is only carrying half the weight, so you will actually have to buy not 10, but 20 of them to actually get your 40 Rand voucher. So you can build up your points factor for your entire base if you like um, to incentivize your clients. In this case, I'm just going to go loyalty factor 1. And let's just rapidly add the rest. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. And you'll notice it's also nine and seven. Also picking up the corresponding product. You can export this list um, and the factor just for your for your uh, checks and balances. All right, good. So we are almost done. We've got um, product set up in the point of sale with item codes. We've got our factor set, and these are loyalty codes used for calculation. So let's go over to our uh, loyalty section. Uh, on the loyalty, um, these tabs are all transactional based tabs. We'll show you some data um, flowing now in them. And But what, what I want to do for this exercise, uh, if I click here and say refresh, I've got no card set up currently. And I'm going to go to new card and voucher just to show you how to set this up. Loyalty points itself, uh, you'll notice there's a message that pops up. You can't use this one. This is part of how the system calculates. We've got gift cards and vouchers. These We'll use these two and discount vouchers, uh, which is not currently, uh, we're not going to use them right now. So the gift cards, um, let's just go to gift card. I'm going to add a number in here. I've added my cell phone number. So typically what we want to do is we want to get our customers to enter their cell phone numbers. And then based on the cell phone number, it will be recognized and we will get the points. So we'll get to that shortly. Redeem amount, in this case, uh, this would be the amount we start off. Uh, for this customer, we're just going to start off with zero. Uh, we're not going to give or allocate any points to this customer. And um, I'm going to say proceed. Okay, so this is just uh, to show you how to create the, the card value or voucher manually. And then when I go here, I went to a 7, 8, 12, 5, 5, 5. Uh, This is where the ledger is built up. And we'll talk about these different points and balances that will come up. So transactions, you can see when the new card was created and any activity on this card. So let's go back to the point of sale and do a transaction and see this in action. 
Okay, so back to the point of sale. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a normal sale. I'm going to add loyalty. I've done the transaction uh, before, but I'm just going to do, I've done four. So I'm going to do another four. I'm just going to add these four items. Now important is this is loyalty. So I either want to click here and go 0828780505. Search, we've got the client. You can see I've been playing around and yes and continue. So customer test loyalty is now linked to this transaction. And when I close this off this transaction, this data will be passed through to the loyalty system. So I'm just going to close this one off. No, we don't want a receipt. Okay, good. So let's have a look what this looks like on the Hive. So back on the Hive, what we are seeing is this is where we created our gift card. And then we had a um, points balance of zero. This is the initial one I did. I loaded four and the balance became four. I did another transaction. A balance is four, loaded four, and the points are eight. So for this specific card, we're sitting on a points balance of eight. And I'm going to do another transaction just to push it over to, I'm going to do another four. So we're expecting it to go to 10. We'll get a load amount loaded onto the card and then we get the points reduction. So let's see that in action. So let's go to, okay, let's start with loyalty. Okay, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one, two, three, just four of them again. I'm going to go pay uh, loyalty. We did that just to show you on the gift card how we do it. Five, five. If I search, um, there is uh, points of points sitting at eight. Uh, this is just the balance that it's trying to collect, but the available balance is zero. But we can see that's the points value. Okay, so we're not going to attempt that one. Uh, let's just go and ring this one off on cash. Okay, good. So let's go over to the Hive and see what the Hive is saying. I'm going to click on the refresh button. Just wait for the Hive a moment. And there we go. Just have to wait for that sync. So we were sitting on a points before, um, here's the balance. So then it went from 4 plus 8 is the 12. And then as I mentioned, we are actually redeeming the points. So we are rede reducing the points from 12. There were, there's two left now. This is my balance, but you'll notice um, we've also now got a load on the card, which is a load amount of 40, which brings our balance to 40 which in this case now means that I can go and uh, purchase one of these items. Um, I can go to my gift card and I can actually redeem this amount. So there's my available balance. I'm going to say I'm going to take 40 and the rest I'm going to put on cash. And there we go. No receipt. And then what we want to do is let's go back to the hive and let's just see what has happened. So on the gift card load, we, we spoke about the 40. This is the balance before. Uh, we've got a full redeem amount. <clears throat> the new balance is sitting at um, zero. And my points is remaining at two. Because in this case, I didn't load it against the customer. I just did a straight redeem on the card. So guys, I hope that helps to explain uh, loyalty. There's uh, much more to it. So please feel free to reach out to us, uh, my contact, if you need some help with the setup or testing um, to see if the loyalty can work in your environment.